this one. Last week, you may recall, we introduced Cheryl to a potential love connection when she met James, a bachelor who was personally selected just for her by her good friend Drew Barrymore. Well, Cheryl and James went on their very first date this weekend, and our cameras were there to capture, well, almost everything. Before we watch, Cheryl, is there anything you want to say about what happened? Nope. I don't want to give away any spoilers. Check it out. All right, let's roll the clip. Welcome your boo, courtesy of Drew. It is James. Come on out, James. I thought we Wow. He was gorgeous. And for him to do a split. She wore my favorite color. your thing you came through for me yeah so let me ask you something young man what are your intentions <laughs> with cheryl i really just want to take her on an amazing date and let her tell the whole story and let's just see what happens i have a uh, female first date butterflies but he seems so confident and sure of himself that whatever he has planned, I think I'm going to like it because it's rare that you meet a man who's sure of himself. So, oh, you came as a private booth. Okay. This is my first blind date ever. I actually haven't been dating in, in several months or almost actually a couple years. Married? Never married. Never married. Why not? Well... That's why I'm here. <laughs> really? Oh, so you haven't found her. I have not found her. I've just been kind of just laying low. So I'm excited. She seems really sweet. Definitely like to get to know her. So you're from Portland? So, so that's where I was born, yeah. I was born down south in Arkansas. Raised in Charlotte. I'd like to start a friendship first. Uh, see what we have in common. Uh, get to know him better. So I was playing baseball. So you you were on a sports scholarship. Yeah, I was on a sports scholarship. Really? And then... My dad loved baseball. I am looking for my best friend. My ride or die partner. So you, your degree is in? Or yeah, you I got my bachelor's in communication. Oh my yeah. God, mine is too. Looks like they sent something over for you. Okay, and I have an idea who might have been involved in this. Let's see what's in the envelope. Sure. Okay. Hope he's the one, but we know there's no one underlined truly good enough for you. James better treat you right, or we're sending Big Ock after him. <laughs> I love your talk, co-host. My colleagues are really, really hopeful for me. To an amazing day. Yes. New beginnings. Yes. And just... Great friendship. You. Yes. Great friendship. Absolutely. Cheers. That's right. Cheers. The bottle of bubbly wasn't the only surprise. Tell me something about you that I wouldn't know. Right. So what I did not know is that James has been a member of the village people for the past six years. I am the construction okay. worker. When are you coming to California? And yes. can you bring the village people? <laughs> I'm going to beg right now. If you really want this date to continue going back, you need to say to me, Shell, I will try okay. to bring the visit. You will tear our show apart in a good way. You ready to order here? Let's start with the lamb skewers. Ooh, okay. Yes. The crispy spring rolls. Yes. Is that going to be because in for now? Yes. Uh, we'll take these Thank out of you. Your Thank, Thank you very you. much. Sure. So how did you get into the comedy? I got into comedy. Uh, I was trying to pay my way through school. Drew Barrymore, girl, you did your thing. He's a Capricorn. I'm a Scorpio. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to the boom. He likes baseball. I grew up on baseball. They, yeah. they, they, they do everything. He was mostly football, but they thought it was about Drew, you did an amazing job. Cheryl is a very, very special person. We have so many things in common. I really like her. Okay, there we go. Oh, my God. He has a kind of a James Bond, Bruce Lee kind of rock thing happening. I would definitely like to get to know him there, for sure. What I learned about myself is I have an unusual amount of restraint. No sex on the first date, ladies. We, I have 
have so many questions. I'm sure yes. you guys have a lot of questions. Yes. All right, have you guys been communicating oh. since uh, date night? And uh, when's date number two? Well, yes, we have been communicating. He's been texting and sending me pictures mm. of his travels. I think we have some of the photos. Okay. Um, oh, I don't know if we have. Oh, okay. Ooh, looking good. Oh, very handsome. Very oh. handsome. And I'm not sure. I mean, I have to wait for him to ask, is there going to be a, a, a second date or a third date? Or, uh, But we have been communicating and texting. I know you said Aww. third date, huh? I, I got what you said there. Okay. <laughs> we know what happens then. Cheryl, yeah. Cheryl I, and, and, and I speak on behalf of all of us here in the audience yeah. watching at home. Yeah. Cheryl, you deserve this. Yeah. yeah. But also, you have uh, another question. I know you oh, want to yeah. be. Oh, well, listen now. Also, one. can I we get? Know it. I feel it. Can we get backstage passes to the yeah. village people? Uh, and I think I'm happy. Yeah. Listen to me. I was batting them eyes and flirting, and I was like, "Can you bring the village people to the talk?" And you know what? They are going to be performing uh, in July in Southern California. A uh, couple of nights with Cool in the Gang. Wow. But wait, San Diego, they're going to be with the Jacksons. Wow. And I said, I said, oh my God, Akbar would die. So we should try to get a oh, role with you. Or get them to come here. As resident single lady, also I'm yeah. so proud of you. That was very yeah. brave, and to also like go on a date and be taped, and like you know, don't try to get me to do this, producers. <laughs> um, I'm very <laughs> proud of you. Amanda's next. I am not next. I'll say this real quick too. Yeah. I want all women out there that are single date date people and thank you drew thank you yes. very much for doing this with me and i hope that i will meet a much a lot more princes so i can find my king Ooh, so okay. james i look forward to seeing you again okay I look forward to seeing you again. Okay, it's Prince number one. But again, yes. thanks to Drew and to her producers as well for, for excellent matchmaking skills. She's going to keep us posted this one on her journey while she's dating.